everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. It is baking o'clock time. So we're going to be making a Louise square. Now a few years back I made a Louise cake and it was really really thick like a you know big slice of cake. This one is a slice or a square whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. So let's have a look at the ingredients. Okay, we've got the usual butter, we've got vanilla, we've got jam. Somebody's going to be brassed off that I'm going to be using all the jam, never mind. I've got flour, baking powder, coconut, I separated the eggs and broke a yolk, and I've got some caster sugar. Now if you've just got normal sugar, that's fine. Just put it through your Nutribullet for a little bit until it sort of granulates up so it's nice and fine but not too powdery. And okay, let's get going. In my bowl, I have got my butter, my sugar, and way too much vanilla. And I'm going to give it a, a beat up for probably about five minutes till it's nice. That's perfect. Right, that'll do. Now we're going to add our egg yolks. Look at that colour. Beautiful. I've got my baking powder and my flour in there, and I'm just going to slowly mix that in. Righto, I've got my like shortcake base here, which looks absolutely fab, and this is my poor excuse for a tin. Very sad. Every time I do some baking, I pass it on to my kids with the t in the tin, and uh, the tins never come back. So I'm left with a round one. It'll do, and I've got no baking paper, so I'm going to have to use tin foil. It'll do. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this dough into this tin. So I'm sure you don't need to watch me. A few years back we left our teenagers here at home and they made all this cookie dough and ate it and made themselves really sick. That's karma. I've got my egg whites in here and I've got my that beater in there and I'm just going to beat it up till it's nice and fluffy, probably for about maybe two minutes until soft peaks form. Right, now I'm going to slowly add my sugar, just a little bit at a time. my coconut. That looks pretty good, eh? You can use any sort of jam that you want. The jam that I've used is a nice tart jam because I really like that bang of flavour. And then I'm just going to put this meringue on top. Spread your meringue over top and pop it into your oven which is preheated at 160 degrees and let it cook for about 30 minutes until it's nice and brown. When it cools down, it should look like this. <gasps> Ooh, yum. Look at that. What it does it like? I'll just have to sample it. Yum, yum. Mm. I'll try again. Yum. That is really good. Hope you guys are well. Take it easy. See you soon. Can't get you along.